Driving past a school bus that's loading or unloading kids is illegal. In the future, doing this could have even more severe consequences because one high schooler is trying to make a difference. I'd like to thank you guys for your time, for letting me come do this. Um, While 16-year-old Reed Haywood can now date and drive like his other friends, he isn't your average teenager. I've been going to caucus meetings with my dad ever since I was little. In fact, he's already sent a bill to Capitol Hill, and he's telling teachers in the Nebo School District all about it. Utah Representative Mike McKell challenged Reed to draft up a bill. As I was learning to drive and getting in the required 40 hours, I noticed a lot of people were passing school buses when that red stop sign was out. And so I decided to figure out if we could better enforce that. The bill would allow courts to use video footage captured from cameras installed on buses to help prosecute traffic violators. If a driver were to break the law by passing a stop arm like this, the bus driver would be responsible for noting the time, location, the license plate number, and even a description of what the driver looked like in only a matter of seconds. But legislators say if they could use footage from cameras like this, their job would be a lot easier. You know, we need to be able to prosecute these people that drive past our school buses when a police officer is not present. Jordan School District Transportation Director Herb Jensen has the data to justify the bill. There were 1,468 motorists on one day, November the 9th, that drove past school buses with their red lights flashing. So that's, that's kind of scary because that's where our kids are standing. I would be devastated if one of my kids was hurt. Reed will head to the state capitol in two to three weeks to watch the bill debated on the Senate and House floor. Until then, he encourages everyone to write their representatives to show their support. It's really cool to be able to get involved with your community. The bill won't cost taxpayers or the state anything. In fact, 20% of the ticket revenue will fund new cameras on school buses. And Haywood tells us that the bill will actually be on the floor this afternoon or tomorrow morning.